Hey, what's up everybody? Creed Tunes here with another commentary for you guys. I know you guys have been waiting for another commentary. It's been a while, but hey, we're back. Here we go, here we go. So this is Party Pooper, and it aired on August 21st, 2020. So right off the jump, that birthday song, I got a lot of people saying that it was a little creepy. And I noticed that with a lot of my episodes when I try to do songs, they everybody says like, wow, that was a little disturbing. Like, why, why do they sound like that? Or why do they look like that? It puts people off a little bit. And I'm starting to actually like that. Like, whenever I do any type of song or lullaby, I like the fact that it's like that. It gives it a little eerie feeling. However, though, it, it's not intentional. I go into it thinking like, yeah, let me make a little happy birthday song for the beginning of the episode, <laughs> you know? And it just turns out like, oh. Seems like these people are possessed or something. But the only reason it sounded like that is because um, originally that was one of the last things I did. I I had sent a, a voiceover, well, some lines to my um, sister who does Ashley, Trey's sister on the show. And she sent it back and it was really slow. Like it was really like, happy birthday. And it was just, I was like, okay, cool. And I just had it there for a long time. And near the end of the episode when I did the actual when I had to keep doing it over and over and over because it was a bunch of kids saying it, so I had to do it different ways. I never really changed the flow of it or told my sister to speed it up or nothing like that, so... It just turned out the way it turned out, and it turned out a little creepy. But yeah, that's that's why it sounded like that. Um, so, with this episode right here, I always wanted to do like a, a pool party type episode, like a, a summer-themed show where they're all at the pool. And it finally came to fruition. Um, I was a little discouraged at first because it was so many. It's going to be so many characters, and there's going to be water involved and background characters. So I kind of started this episode and then put it off, and started another episode as a cop out. But I never dropped that other episode. So the other episode was like a. Um, it was like a, uh, a house party type episode, and the. The water aspect where they were all going to be kind of near the water and their bathing suits was going to be a hot tub. But I didn't really like the way that episode was turning out. I animated about two scenes of that. And it just didn't really have the tone that I was going for. The Little America tone. And some characters weren't really acting or, the you know, it just didn't, I didn't like it. So I, I, uh, I scrapped it. I still have those scenes animated, so I might use them in another date or another episode or something like that. But I decided to fully commit to the pool party one. I was like, you know what? Let me just do it. Let me stop being a little, you know. So I started the uh, pool party episode, and right away I was just really, really liking the way it was turning out. All the characters, I switched their hair and um, made it more defined. As you can see, Trey's hair has actual, like, definition now instead of just blocks of hair uh pork shop you see his hair it's kind of the same some some characters still had their old hairstyles and things like that but for the most part they all switched their hair uh, i tried to integrate this new program i'm using into the show to where it's like a mix between uh the standard block type animation that i do and like organic art like you see the tree in the background with behind pork chop how it's like actual painted on there and then there's the devil how he's just like blocky so that's like the kind of kind of style that i'm going for nowadays and i think it turns out pretty good i think it integrates pretty well with the show speaking of the devil uh i wanted to do this for so long with the angel and devil on the shoulder <laughs> Uh, I did it way back in like 2014 or 15 when I did the, when I used to do the shorts on Instagram and I, I did one with Cupid and Captain Save a Thought. I don't know if the OG fans are in here, but Captain Save a Thought, I'm gonna bring him back definitely. But uh, the Devil and the Angel, I I kind of was inspired by the uh, Emperor's New Groove Devil and Angel because <laughs> I thought they were just hilarious back in the day. I was like, I want to do my own Devil and Angel, so that was a little version of that. And uh, the devil told uh, Sweet Tits, a.k.a. Pork Chop, to grow some bowels <laughs> and eat that cake. That cake looked good, too, don't you? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> um, so 
another thing I, I really liked about this episode was playing around with that new program. Like you see the ground that's behind Pork Chop, how it's like cement instead of just. So it'll go if it's close up, it'll go to the actual texture of it. Like right here, it's like cement, and back right there, it's kind of just blocky colors. It all depends on the, the angle of the shot and everything like that. But the chicken, I was really proud of the chicken. Um, coming up right here, you can see like the actual texture on the chicken, and it's uh, it looks like raw chicken. I'm like, oh, that's crazy. And I got the smoke on there. The grill. I was really proud of this shot right here. I got the sky in the background. That's one of my favorite shots of the episode right there, actually. Um, I was just working on different shots instead of just having the same old still frames and things like that. And, you know, just working on working on making the show look a little better. Had to do a little rocket power. uh Rocket Power reference in this one. And shout out to all my Rocket Power fans too. People that used to watch the '90s cartoons. I get a lot of inspiration from those as well. Um, but this episode actually was supposed to have a whole another scene in it where um, where Black and Pork Chop were going to have like a Titanic scene, where Black sitting there holding on <laughs> to something that Pork Chop was on. He was going to be like, "I'll never let go, Black." I'll never let go, like kind of like how she was like, I'll never let go, Jack. And I was going to have a whole scene like that on there, but I decided to just kind of make it a little shorter. This episode was dragging on a little too long. I didn't even have a direction for it. But I did know that at the end, um, Pork Chop was going to poop in the pool because I didn't really have an ending for it for a while until I titled it. And I titled it about halfway through the episode, and I said, uh, party pooper. I'll just call it party pooper. And then I realized, like, hey, maybe somebody can poop in the pool. <laughs> so that would just be the end of it. So I didn't know how I was going to get there, but then it all started playing out with the chicken being raw. And, uh, it just all came together like it always does organically, you know? You know? You can't really force things. Um, the, what's another part? Oh, the Karen part of this episode was pretty cool, too, because. Um, there's always that one person at the pool that's just a party pooper, like, <laughs> no pun intended, like, they just always got something to say about you running, or, you remember when you was a kid, it was always that one lady or guy that's just, a, like, just shut the hell up, like, uh, let the kids have fun, but that was the Karen in this episode, and at the time, I was watching a lot of Karen videos, <laughs> it was pretty, it was just only right to put one in there, and it was even better to have her get shot in the face. Ooh, that was satisfying. Thanks, Briss. Thanks for shooting her in the face. It was a BB gun, by the way. If y'all didn't pick up on that, these kids don't be carrying guns and stuff like that. I know they hood kids and ratchet and all that, but they ain't, <laughs> they ain't toting guns and stuff. Not real ones, at least. But uh, it was also nice making a Karen because she had a face mask on, so I didn't have to lip sync or animate her lip sync, which was awesome. I should have every character wear a mask from now on. Until the COVID go away, so I, <laughs> I could put out episodes faster. I ain't got lip sync, nothing. They just move their heads and stuff. But um, yeah, uh, did you guys like that that one scene where where Black gets pulled into the pool by Pork Shop and he's like under the water? And I had to, I, it was awesome, man. I was surprised it turned out so good because I've never done slow motion before. The first slow motion scene I ever did, first underwater scene I ever did, and it turned out great. I think um, I had the actual. Te uh, brush textures to make it look like he was underwater like that effect um, and I remember I was discouraged at the end of the episode like I thought it was going to take forever to make him scream under the water with the um, with the bubbles going up I was like oh man I got all these bubbles like uh, how am I going to do that it took no time at all to do that surprisingly same with the one thing that actually kind of actually took a little longer, which I thought was going to be shorter, was the uh, was the popcorn. When he runs into the Karen, and then the popcorn bounces all over the place. That actually took a while, surprisingly. Little things like that, you'll be surprised, like how long that actually takes. Um, him running around the corner, getting chased, then hitting the Karen. The camera changes, the popcorn flies up, and all that. And it just takes a while. Um, little shots, you'll be surprised. You'll be surprised. But it all comes together like a puzzle at the end. Makes it all worth it. Um, last but not least, I just wanted to say as well that 
the audio has greatly improved since OnlyFans because OnlyFans got a lot of a lot of views, a lot of comment feedback and everything. It was a great episode, but the audio was horrible. I was still trying to work out the voices and the audio, the pitch changes and the the way the characters sounded. And uh, I think it's got a lot better since then. This episode, I, I figured out how to <laughs> work the program a little better to get the, the uh, voice changes to sound a little more organic instead of like <laughs> Mickey Mouse and Screechy. It's just hard to listen to. It's, I love the OnlyFans episode, but it's hard to go back and watch it because of the voices. Ugh. <laughs> so I got it together, guys. You ain't got to worry. Uh, you can see in this episode, it got better. Candyman and uh, the one I'm working on now is just way, way better. So, just wanted to point that out. I think I rambled on a little uh, long on this one. <laughs> I think you guys got the point. I'm all over the place with this commentary right here. But it's been a while since I've done one of these. And um, Let me know in the comments section if you guys really like these commentaries. Because uh, I can make more, you know, detailing certain parts of the episode. It doesn't have to be just the episode's commentary. For example, like, would you like to see uh, commentaries on certain characters, how they came about, uh, certain things like that? I can go into detail about certain things and my animation process on certain episodes and background design and things like that. Just to put more content out there for you guys. If you guys want to see it. If you guys just want to see the episodes and how I've been doing it, uh, let me know that. Um, all in all... Party Pooper was a great episode, great learning experience, and um, one of my longer episodes, which I've been doing lately. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you guys tuning in to the commentary. Little America, I have great things for you guys coming in 2021. Big things, so be on the lookout for that. And um, I appreciate all you guys. So make sure you subscribe on my Instagram. Uh, well, follow me on Instagram. Subscribe on my YouTube if you're not already. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.